This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams. We're working on a stretchy, cool down walk from our first walk session. That's it. All you're going to do is have an even feel on both reins. If she leans on your right rein, use your right leg to get her to step up. If, yes. If you feel her falling in and out, if she leans on the right rein, you use your right leg to push her in. If she's leaning on your left rein, you can use your left leg to push her to the right rein. Good. And all you're doing is feeling. it. That's all right. So which side is she leaning to? Uh, to, the left. to the left. All right. So if she's leaning to the left, you need to use more of your left leg because that's her back end and her rib cage falling to the left. Think shoulder four, light rain. Which side is she tipping to with her rib cage? Good. She's to the. It's to the inside. So yep. So ask her to move her back end out just a little bit, like a feeling of a leg yield, even feeling on both reins, on a long rein, just an even feel on both sides. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to play with what she's doing with the center of her body. Now you'll notice she falls in and out like every four steps. She's supposed to be doing that right now. Because she doesn't know how to stay balanced between your leg and rein, keep your hands closer together. Just follow her mouth. That's right. And become aware of where she shifts her weight with her rib cage. Like right there, she shifted it to the right, right? Good. So when she shifts it to the right, the first thing you want to do is bring her shoulder over on a light rein on both sides. That's it. Now add your inside leg and push her out a little bit to the outside rein and leg. You can use a little inside leg to rein too. That's right. So you'll use your inside leg now, now. Now, yep, your inside rein is going loose. Remember, we're going to have an in, even feel on both reins. So all you're going to do is pick up a little more feel on the inside rein, but not enough where she starts getting fussy. Good. Okay, which direction is she now? That's right, she's flipped to the outside. So position her in again. Point your belly in. Bring your shoulder in with your outside leg and rein. You can lead her in a little with your inside rein. Outside leg will be now, now, outside leg and rein. That's when the horse's outside hind leg is off the ground. Good, good. Take your time and just feel it. Start doing serpentines. Shorten the length of your rein, but not the contact. I mean, that made sense. Shorten the length of the rein without tightening the pressure on her mouth. Good. Now see if you can get her to shift her rib cage over with your left leg and left rein, shifting her balance over to your right rein and leg. Now you'll feel she didn't really move over that time, did she? Good. I would carry going to the left the whip on the inside. Good. Ask her again. Keep your outside elbow back. Praise her. Feel the difference? Good. Now she's going to lose it after three steps, but she's supposed to right now because she's just learning how to do the steps to connection. Good. Bring her shoulder over first. That puts her on the inside hind. Do you feel it? And then you use your inside leg and rein now, now, now. Add a little stick. Just tap her behind your leg. Praise her. Good. How does that feel? Yes, good, good. Pick her pole up a little with your outside rein and leg. Always add the leg with the rein, so it'd be now, now, now. Good, good. Take your time, take your time. Now what you're going to feel is you're going to want to take up more of a feel on the rein. Do you feel it? It's a good thing. You want to just follow her mouth right now so she gets more comfortable with you connecting through your seat and legs. Good. Take your time. Feel where her rib cage goes. She's going to lose it right about here. Bring her shoulder over with your outside edge. Praise her. Good, Trudy. That's it. Now she's going to lose it right here on the straight side because that's where they all lose it. Do you feel it? That's where you need to keep her into more of a shoulder four positioning. 
You what? I'm trying not to go to my hands. I know. It, it's hard not to go to your hands because instinctively you feel like you have to shorten the rein and take more control of the front end. And what you want to do, that's a good thing. So when you feel that, you just go, if I'm feeling the need to control the front end, maybe what you need to do is bring your shoulder over sooner so that you can feel the control coming from your core and your seat instead of the rain. Good. So what you're really doing now is you're starting to ride the shoulder instead of her head. Good. Nice loose walk. Yep, pole is low, so if the pole's low, what do you need to do? Outside rain. Outside rain. Pick it up where you want it to be, show her where you want it now. Yep, if the pole's too low, you use your outside rein and leg. Now, now, now. This is a technique that's used by Arthur Cotas, the former director of the Spanish Riding School. Good, take your time. There, feel how nice that walk is getting? And she's going to be bopping her head back and forth. Just ignore it. This is where she should be. Remember, we've only really connected with her maybe four times now. This is huge. Oh, yeah, she walks like a cat now, doesn't she? Good. Bring your heel down. Push your heel forward, I should say, your leg. Yep, you can trot. You want to go into a trot? I was trying to do some transition. So All right. Let me continue.